Welcome back to the Should You Read series, this one being The Interpretation of Financial Statements by Benjamin Graham and Spencer B. Meredith. What's in the book, you might ask? These are the chapters that are dedicated, such as balance sheets in general, debts and credits, intangible assets, property account, current ratio, book value or equity, calculating book value, earning power, a typical industrial income account, calculating earnings, trends, common stock prices and value, analyzing a balance sheet and income account by the ratio method, definition of financial terms, and many more that I haven't listed here. As is usual, let's start with what I didn't like about the book, in this case the interpretation of financial statements. The first is some chapters felt too short. Sometimes I felt like everything wasn't fully explained. They would write a topic for the chapter, for example, current liabilities, and just give a short paragraph on what it is and some examples with nothing else included, such as their opinions or what they feel you should be looking for. Mister, what's a dog? It's an animal, kid. Got another question? But honestly, there weren't too many negatives with this book. That was kind of a minor criticism. Because it seems to be written for beginners, so I'm not criticizing that it's not in-depth with explanations, because that's more for security analysis and the intelligent investor. And if you were interested in learning a little bit more about whatever topic was in that chapter and you felt that they didn't sufficiently explain it, you could just look up the word online in today's day and age. And this should probably be the first or one of the very first investing books that people should read if they're new. Now let's get into what I liked about the interpretation of financial statements. And the first is that all major financial terms are included. If it wasn't included as its own chapter in the book, those are the ones that they felt were the most important. It was in the index in the back. And since the purpose of this book is, as they put it, to enable you to read financial statements intelligently, it would be important to include all the major financial terms in the book. And this one delivers. Number two, it's written in a simple manner. Most of Benjamin Graham's books are very wordy, and he can sometimes get boring or confusing. However, this one seems tailored to helping new investors out by making things simple. And the book matches what the audience wants, and that's very good. What is, in my opinion, the best chapter? I'm only going to list one, since most of the chapters are just some financial term in their explanation and examples of what it is. But the best part in the book is analyzing a balance sheet and income account by the ratio method. What is the main idea of this section? It's to pull all the financial terms discussed earlier and then make important ratios that are needed to compare companies. So for example, we have earnings per share. They begin by explaining what EPS is. Then it tells you how to find that ratio in financial statements. And they use Bethlehem Steel Corporation as an example. Each row has a number assigned to it, such as sales, debts, and so on. And then the ratio points to the number that you need to find so that you can find it easily. So for example, if you need to find earnings, it would have a number associated with it, and then it would go on like that. And if you needed to know the number of shares, it would once again point you to the number of shares and where to find that. It makes learning about financial statements so much easier that way. So the question then becomes, should you read the interpretation of financial statements? And if you're a brand new, no clue type of investor, absolutely. This book was designed for new investors. If you want to invest, you'll need to speak financial language. And it's just like learning every other language. However, what if you're a somewhat new investor where you understand business language already? I would say probably not. Chances are that this book will not give you anything new. If you're confident you know financial terms, no. If you're not confident you know financial terms, then yes. Lastly, if you have moderate to lots of experience, you can probably guess where this is heading. No, this book would likely be a waste of your time and money. Pay attention, class. Is she trying to teach me how to do basic math? So are you interested in reading the interpretations of financial statements? If so, I have a link for this book in the description down below. If you enjoyed the episode, I suggest smashing the like button and subscribing and hitting the bell if you're new here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.